The year is 980 AD. As one of the Viscounts, you must keep the balance between your loyalty to the king and getting the favor from the people. Do you want to see playthrough of Viscounts of the West Kingdom? In this video, we're going to show you a one round playthrough for Viscounts of the West Kingdom and we'll describe what we're doing to give you a flavor for how the game flows. Coming up. Hi, it's Tarrant. And Stella from Nippon University. Now, let's get to our one round playthrough for Viscounts of the West Kingdom, designed by Shem Phillips and SJ McDonald and published by Garfield Games. We are using a prototype copy of the game, and so the rules and components that you see here may not be final. Let's get to the table. So, here we are in our one round playthrough, or I should say a few rounds playthrough. We, uh, I am the yellow player. And I'm playing red. Yep, Terence playing red. <coughs> and we've already selected and draft uh, our starting resources in Townfolk card. Yep, so I got a couple of gold, seven silver, one of each card, and I got to put two workers into the castle to start the game. That's excellent. <clears throat> I got well one stone, eight money, and two deeds and one debt, and then I've moved my virtue one step. So, yep. that aside. Yep, so we do flip these over, they become a player aid, but we're going to move that off to the side. Yep, so um, as usual in our playthrough, we are going to show you, or trying to show you different actions rather than focusing too much on strategy. Uh, well, we do uh, think about the strategy as well, but it's going to try to give you some ideas of uh, what other different actions are. Yep. So, um, who's the first player? Uh, so I'm first, you yep. drafted first, so yep. I'll grab the first player token, this mm -hmm. one here, mm -hmm. uh, which will tell us when to end the game. Alright, so we start with no cards down here in the tableau. Right. I want to get stuck into my building, uh, not building, my um, placing workers some more. Yep. So I'm going to start by placing the squire. So squire can doesn't have any effect here. I move two spaces. <clears throat> so I can go one, two, but I want to go over here near where my starting workers were. So I'll pay a silver to Makes move sense. an extra space. Do you want to change reaction uh, those workers? I do. I want to get stuck into them very quickly. All right. So to place workers up there on the track, I've got one, two, Fleurs de Lee, the starting icons there. I can get a third action point by spending a gold, but I want to get workers up there quickly. I'm going to try to do five actions well, to get five action points. So I'll spend another gold to get mm -hmm. four. And then the only other way for me to get another action point is to dismiss that debt collector. Very good. So this is going to put me on a corrupt path. I'm going to pay his cost, which is three silver, yep. to dismiss him. So I get his skull for the round, which will give me the fifth action point I need. Uh, but I take the dismiss effect, which is a corruption. So he is removed from the game. I have my five points. That means I get to put three workers up onto the castle. One, two, three. That's so good. <clears throat> okay. So the way this will work. These two aren't in a pair. We just ignore them for now. This mm -hmm. set of three. One goes up, lets me flip a debt or a deed. I have a feeling I'm going to get quite corrupt here, so I'm actually going to do the I'm going to do the deeds mm -hmm. in the hope that that's going to help me at the end of the game. And then these guys split one left, one right, uh, and that's that's the end of the resolution there. All right, now let's see. There's a sculptor there, so I'm up to hiring. I could hire that sculptor, but that would leave me out of money and I don't want to take that risk. I've not had a collision, and then I finish by drawing my hand back up to three. So, I didn't see that. <laughs> yeah, but you all could. So that is my first turn. My turn. 
So I am going out of my free hand. I am going to try a different strategy than Tam. So I start with two inkwell. So I want to use to my advantage now. I'm playing the Abbot. Now again, doesn't have any effect when played. I am moving two. So here's my yellow by count. One, two. Mm -hmm. Passing Tarrant, which is fine. Now I have one, two, two cross uh, cross symbols yep. and two inkwell. So I want to try to get this manuscript, which costs three. I pay one, two, and then one of these. So that's discarded. I take that to my collection. I just put it here, and then immediately it is uh, I will get four point uh, four coins. Oh, for, for, for silver. Very nice. Seems like silver is quite handy, so I'm just getting ready for my trade action possibly next round. Um, mm. Depending what I have in my hands. Yep. Which you don't know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, <coughs> so. So now you've yes. got the option to hire. I will. So I'll go in through this step on my playboard. Now the hire uh, phase. I want to take this card. I have the money. And it seems to be good. Like, I've already started with Virtue, maybe I should do that. But then, I should probably look as well. If Terran knows I'm going on Virtue and he's be, he'll be collecting dead, then he'll get a lot of points. We'll see. So, I'll recruit this town for. Now, pay two coin or two silver. Um, and immediately gain the benefit of moving my Virtue once to the left and put this into the discard pile. So I'll just put my discard pile here, a little bit off the screen, but it's there. Now, if there is a immediate effect or a discard effect, that doesn't happen because that only happens when you um, drop off card from your own fellboard. So yeah. there she goes. Okay. Yeah. And then draw back up. Yes, of course. Thank you. And that's my turn. Okay, my turn. Um, I start by sliding the squire along and then I'm going to... So I want to go and get some stone because I want to get some engine building uh, buildings. That's only one space away, so I have to play something that is a one. So I'm going to play my lender. Which is good because it has two of the trading symbol as well. Yep, comes with some trades. My other trading card was this journeyman who would have moved two, so I wouldn't have been able to go to the stone spot. Okay. All right, so no criminals. I'll head up there. Now I have one, two, three, four merchant symbols. I could, so that will definitely get me two stone. I could spend a couple more silver to get some more, but at the moment I want to hang on to that silver to give me some options. So I'll leave it at that. Um, or actually, what I will do, now that I see that sculptor there, he looks like a pretty useful card to hire. So I'm gonna use my hire action to pay three silver to get the sculptor. Mm -hmm. He's gonna build, he's gonna come with a build icon and build things more effectively. Mm -hmm. uh, so he will go into my discard pile, which is little bit offset there because of the board and I get to discard one card as well and I'm going to discard that journeyman mm -hmm. all right no collision I now draw two cards to get back to my hand limit mm -hmm. and it's your go so on my turn I slide this to the side I find that this play board helper is really handy it really reminds you of what the steps are yeah. So I slide that there. Oh, doesn't mean that I'll forget. I might forget. Um, slide, but definitely helps. I play this, which has one movement. Immediately, I'll have to um, get the benefit first, which is the item. I get uh, gold, uh, what's this, wood and inkwell. Old stone and inkwell. Thank you. Yes, yeah, so that was that was your starting hero card. Yes. So that's the one unique part of our starting deck. Mm -hmm. And I will move. Now I'll move one, uh, which takes me to the. Oops. 
and just knock your yeah. work is a little bit. <laughs> uh, takes me there, but I don't want to do that yet. I'll just leave it till later. So I'll pay one coin to go to move one further. And now, surprise, I also do a trade action. Mm -hmm. So I have one, two, three. Well, that only gives me one. That kind of sucks. So I'm going to spend this. I'm going to join Taran in the middle castle. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight will give me four. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which is not bad. It's like I got one already. That's like five if I want to. Um, yeah, discard it there. One, two, three, four. Very good. Now, do I want to uh, play this? I, I don't think I want to at the moment. I've got four coins. I might just save it for another time. So. That is that, and then um, there's no collision here, and then I will draw back to three, and that is my turn. All right, I have no money, and that actually restricts me quite a bit, and also all of my new cards uh, only have a cost of one, which means I can only move one step for free this turn, unless I can get money some other way. Mm -hmm. um, yik, yik, violin, yik, so sad. It is sad. <laughs> uh, Why don't you think it's sad? <laughs> so I do have a way of uh, scrabbling a little bit of money. So what I'll do is slide these guys down and then I'll play my hero, which is Judith. Um, she has an immediate effect where I can either flip a card or destroy a townsfolk card. So I'm going to destroy my starting card, the traitor. Mm -hmm. And when you destroy a card, it gets out of my deck because I don't really want him and it will give me uh, his cost right away. So I get one silver, silver. Yes. one silver there. Uh, and now that gives me a little bit more flexibility on my movement. By sacrificing your trader. Yes. <laughs> All right, so now I'll move. I will move two spaces by spending a silver. One, two. And I will take the building action. So I've got one hammer in my tableau and I've got two stone that I can spend. Give me three action points which is enough to build a workshop. So I'm going a corrupt route so that one's no good. I think I'm going to get the extra hand size. That will be pretty helpful. And then I'm going to build it here. So that one is going to give me, I can now hire as a bonus one of these uh, townsfolk from anywhere on the board for free. Oh, is that what it means? Oh, yep. right, yes. I'm not limited just to my region. I can go from anywhere. And so I'm going to... I'm going to take this highly corrupt antagonist. <laughs> because those two symbols I think are going to come in very handy. Particularly early for engine building. Uh, the immediate effect is I get a corruption. So that completes my action. I can't afford to hire anyone. I haven't had a collision. And now I draw back up to my hand size, which is now wow. four. So three cards. I've got a full hand of four now. Now my turn. I was going to do the... Um, the sorry, the worker's action. action. But I did not actually draw anything that can help me, and I've covered the one that I have on uh, pre-printed. So I might just leave it till later. So as usual, first I slide that to the right, and I will play Thief. Haha! Mm. This looks like Terence is getting more and more corrupted. I think I want to start collecting dead as well, so he doesn't get away and run away with um, with the points. So, mm. but first I move my corruption to one. Because I've got one uh, skull logo. So now I'm moving one. I'm here, so I move one to here. I want to pay one more coin to move one more. Because I'm looking at this ribbon, the blue ribbon. There's the second one there. I've already got one. If I have three, I can get this one, which gives me a permanent two trade icons. That might be handy to try to collect things. Yeah, plus you get a free hire. Correct. Which is always nice at this point. 
like you did before. Mm -hmm. So I will spend three, which I have a uh, symbol here one, two is the uh, the wild card I, uh, skull icon, and the third one is this. So that's three. I will remove this and we'll see what happens. It is the black one. I, so I haven't actually, I can't see another blue one, which is okay. Yeah. So as the bonus of that, I will recruit the benefactor. And I am moving my virtue one step ahead yep. as the immediate effect. And this is probably pretty handy because if I have, uh, see, if I do this uh, yellow um, action, worker placement, worker action. placement, thank you, then um, whatever blue symbol that I have, I can, it counts as one more, which is handy because if I'm aiming for that blue icon, that means I might be able to combo it, we'll see. So go to my discard pal. Yep. And You've I've done that. You've got the option to hire properly now. Yes, but I actually won. I only have three coins again. Um, I will check there's no collision and I will draw back to only three. And I believe that's my turn. Yep. All right, so now I have a, um, now I have someone in my discarded space. So he drops off. He has no discard effect. Mm -hmm. Slide them down. I'm going to play the Financier, who has an immediate effect where I can discard one card from my hand mm -hmm. and gain two silver. Very good. She has three movement points and I've got a build icon there next round, so I'm going to try to combo that. So I'll just move the three to the stone trading space. I've got four icons. So I can get two stone for that. I'm going to hang on to my money because there's nothing that costs four and with this icon I've got enough to build a workshop for three. So that is that one. Uh, I could hire that scoundrel. Mm, scoundrel for hire. Scoundrel for hire. And I think I, I think I will. So I'll pay the coin to hire the scoundrel. Uh, into the discard pile, that gives me one discard. I'm going to discard this labourer. And I'm going to do that because I only want to move one space. So that completes that. I don't have a collision. And now I do a, a shuffle because I don't have anything in my draw pile. So I shuffle these. Every day I'm shuffling. Yeah. Now the trigger for a shuffle is you look at how much how many criminals you have in the tableau. I've got no criminal icons, so I gain one virtue. Then I will draw back up to four cards. Okay, my turn. I will discard the Apex with no effect. Slide these two across. Now, I will play. I'll do the Journeyman, which doesn't have immediate effect. Mm -hmm. I will move two to one, two. Mm. I want to do the trade action. I think I need more coins. I have three, so I need a bit of more flexibility. I have one, two, three. Now, there's no point in spending coins for coins. It's basically the same thing. Mm. But I want to dismiss this downsfork and pay one coin to actually get three icons. A slightly better exchange rate, perhaps. Yeah, two so, free coins. Yeah, so one, two three four five six so i get five coins um, plus your criminal of course so one two three four five six seven yeah so seven minus one well i get seven and then i have to pay one to dismiss uh the peddler yeah so six so he's removed and yep. you also get to discard a card from hand yes. if you want yes i will discard this trader and I will... Do I want to recruit? That's, that's pretty cheap. Especially if I want to focus on the... That might be handy. I'll pay one more. Yeah. And then I will recruit this. And this has got the uh, rearranging effect as well. Yeah. So you can rearrange your tableau to basically get the drop-off actions where you want them. Correct. Now. I will rearrange to Thief to the left, so I get this effect longer and then it doesn't trigger 
um, Suna and I will as much as I like this to symbol but this is still early in the game I will put my journeyman to the right so when it's discarded the discard effect is to recruit and to move my first ship and I will draw back to three and that is my turn what you my gonna do turn? Turn? so the lender is discarded the lender has a drop-off effect that lets me flip a debt or a deed. So I flip that debt and that gives me a resource. So I'm going to take a stone, because at the moment I'm doing a lot of building. Mm -hmm. They slide and then I'm going to play the Sculptor. So the Sculptor's got an ongoing effect where once per build action I can spend a stone as if it were two icons. So oh, that's going to so boost good. that up a bit. Yes. He moves three, so I can see a place I want to build, and it's where you are. So I'll go one, two, three. Hello. Hello. Now normally you would um, get to rearrange your tableau as a result of me landing on you. Mm -hmm. You just did that. Yeah. On your own account. <laughs> so I assume you're uh, happy you how it is. Yeah, sure. Okay. Um, and then I shall do the building actions. So I've got one, two. 3, 4 with the Sculptor's power, and 5. So that will let me build one of my trading posts. So I, I've got one where I can dismiss, I've got one where I can... I like this one here, it gives me a bit more flexibility and distance when I move. So I'm going to place that one, mm -hmm. uh, and that puts it over... I can now rearrange uh, these guys in my tableau. Um, and to be honest, they're kind of in the position I already want them to be. I want Judith to get through my pile more quickly and I want the Sculptor to mm -hmm. stay there as long as possible. Mm -hmm. So you just um, leave it. Yeah, but the other benefit there was to flip a card and I've got none worth flipping at the moment. That's correct. Now the debt collector I can't afford. I have not had a collision. Mm -hmm. And I draw back up to four cards. My go, discard the journeyman now. I will move one virtue to the left and it also has, I'm going to move it a little bit, it also has a recruit action. Now I've been eyeing this because you've got this, this seems really good for building. I want to try to collect the manuscript so it makes sense if I take this one for free yep. and I get to discard a card in my hand which I probably will do that one laborer. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not building a lot in this game and I will put this in my discard because this is good. This is one inkwell worth two crosses so that's yeah that's really good for my plan. I've got a lot of plans I don't know if it come to fruition later but I can plan. <laughs> <laughs> and then move this across and I will play my square which gives me the yellow icon what is yep. it called again? Uh, Fleur-de-lis. Fleur de Thank you. Yep. Now, surprise! Two. So I'll move one, two. Yep. And I will do the place worker action. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can see here eight. One more, I can put four instead of three. That's really good. So what I'll do I will dismiss that. Dismiss the town folk. Yeah, why not? It's yep. three. It's cost yep. a lot, but we'll see what happens. And you gain a corruption. Yeah. Ooh, a collision. Yeah, we'll resolve that after this. Yep. Okay. So, four workers up you go to the first level of the castle. Mm hmm. Hello. Hello. Right. We've been here forever. Yeah. Now, I don't want to let Taryn get away with just putting all the workers on his own by himself. You look lonely, Taryn. I'll join you. <laughs> Alright. Mm -hmm. Now, these three lots, one will go there, which let me flip. I will flip the... Uh, the dead. Oh! Yeah. I wonder if I could just not hire the townsfolk and then get more gold. I think you have to, uh, you have to gather the action points. Okay. Before. Yeah. yeah. Makes sense. So I'll flip that. 
again one goal or do I want no I want I want the inkwell sorry indecisive I want the inkwell yep. and then I will move one to the left one to the right oh left or right doesn't matter yep. <laughs> and that's three so it doesn't trigger, trigger anything more yep. anything over three then tra trigger so I can dismiss a worker of my own and get the bonus or Terrence worker as a bonus but yep. it doesn't so that's that yep. and you spend your gold mm -hmm. Um, of course. Right. One, two, three, here. So, oops, sorry. One more. Spend the gold. Yeah. And I, do I want to recruit? No. I've recruited enough, I think. And I, now, let's resolve the collision. Now, in my collision, what happened is that I get the top bit, which is one coin. And can you please pass me the D? One D, because you were very slightly virtuous Thank versus you. corrupt. Haha. -ha. And then now, Taran doesn't have anything, any corruption on his tableau. So the bottom part for Taran does not trigger. Correct, yes. If so Taran has stay got where one. I was. If Taran has got at least one, then he moves his uh, corruption to the right one step. Yep. Now, I've done this, I've moved that back to its original position. Mm -hmm. And I draw back to three. Now I have one, so I'll just do the usual reshuffle. Yep, so once again you do a check and you uh, will gain one corruption mm -hmm. because sorry, of that yes. criminal in your tableau. Yes, sorry, hang on, let me just do that. Yep, and then... One corruption. The, yep, that's because I've got one. Yes. And that's part of the... Um, Part of the reshuffling effect. Oh, the rest reshuffling. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. And that's my turn. And that's the playthrough of Five Counts of the West Kingdom. We hope that you enjoy the video and we hope that you enjoy playing. At the time of filming, Viscounts of the West Kingdom is about to be launched on Kickstarter, so I will put a link in the description below when it's live so you can check it out. Additionally, if you'd like to learn the full rules for the game, we have a how to play video and you can check that out from its link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please help us by hitting the like button. Subscribe to us. You can also hit the middle in the corner to do so and hit the bell icon so you'll be one of the first to know when we have new videos. You can also follow me on Instagram for board game photos and reviews. And finally, if you have any questions, comments or feedback, please write them in the comment section below. Until next time.